So this is new. Uh, we've heard you guys' requests on YouTube and people on Twitch especially have been asking us to be doing some game trailer reactions. Uh -huh. right. And I figured there is no one better than YouTube to do that. YouTube for YouTube? What? Oh, Screw you, rest of the internet. These are the best ones for the job. <laughs> uh, so I'm uh, Zach Eubank. I'm Ify Wadiway. And I'm Pamela Horton. Like, I already whiffed it. Like, right <laughs> out the gate. <laughs> Who the am I? It. It's your boy, yeah, yeah, Ify yeah. Wadiway. Batman. <laughs> yeah, hold it down. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. So what, what trailer are we watching? All right, so we're going to kick this off with Far Cry 5 Ooh. official announcement trailer, which I've seen little spots of and yeah. seen lots of people on Twitter freaking out about mm -hmm. it. So I was like, I'm not going to watch it yet. I've, no, I, no, I, without that, no, without even knowing that I needed to react to it, I didn't watch it just because it never happened organically. Yeah. I'm an organic viewer. I need gotcha. it to happen naturally. You need someone to be like, hey, Far Cry is important again. And yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, speaking of Far Cry, like I'm actually a huge Far Cry fan. Oh, nice. Uh, I've played every single one of them, and as the kind of computer, you know, uh, nerd that I am, you know, Far Cry One especially was that benchmark back mm -hmm. in the day. It was like, all right, I'm yeah. gonna run <laughs> Far Cry, and I remember freaking out the moment I saw my footprints in the sand when yeah. I got my machine up to a high enough level that I was able to turn on enough textures. I was just like. <gasps> Those are my fucking whoa. footprints. Like, whoa. Yeah. Video games are wild. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've played every single one of them. Um, it's really hard for me to say which one's my favorite. Um, I don't know if I have one. I would just write. I like the first one a lot. The second one was really unique. I do like that each one has very different locales, mm -hmm. but they feel like Far Cry games. Like there's just there's a feeling to them. The inventory system, the mission system, for better or worse, every single time, mm -hmm. feels very similar despite the settings and the stories being completely different. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, all I've played is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon when they gave for free <laughs> during the UB30, uh, which, which was fun. You know, but I haven't really gotten my teeth sunk deep in new Far Cry. Like, I feel like my open world gaming is spent on, like, GTA 5, Red Dead, but I, you know, I respect the franchise. It and requires I'm, too much, probably, uh, like, actual shooter skill for you to... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm too busy <laughs> getting ranked in Rainbow Six Siege. That, uh, you might Getting heard. ranked? Yeah, getting, yeah. Getting busy ranked. working towards getting ranked, yeah, yeah, not getting actually ranked. getting ranked. I mean, getting that ranked. No, that out. ranked is actually a term when you get your ass kicked. He's, yeah. he's getting ranked. No, no, I'm getting the <laughs> rank. I, I was gold ranked last season. This health season was kind of a letdown. Like, I know they're working on the game, getting it better, but I was really excited for some new operators and a new map, but we're not getting that this season. So, but I'm going to try and see if I can hit plat this time because your boy is nasty. <laughs> but I've been playing a lot of player unknown battlegrounds too. Uh, which I feel like. What does any of this have to do with Far Cry? Uh, well, I know. I was about to be like, like, your honor. Yeah, yeah, no. Player <laughs> Unknown Battlegrounds is kind of like you know, explore, building your it inventory is, type yeah. stuff like that. Uh, doesn't last as long as Far Cry. Far Cry <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest. My first step into Far Cry was actually Far Cry Primal. Nice. Um, and what drew me to that game was actually the aspect of being able to tame cats because I love cats. <laughs> oh, okay, that was that um, was the that was the calling card. That was the calling card for me. But fortunately. Um, uh, because a, a game specifically introduces me to a franchise doesn't mean that I'm not going to play the rest of them. So yeah. I did play Far Cry 4, which I really enjoyed. I, did um, I had no idea until I beat the game that you could have actually ended the game early by just sitting and waiting for him. So I thought that that was really cool that you could just sit there and wait for for him to come back into the room and then yeah, the game ends. He takes you yeah, too long. Yeah, and the art direction on those, like I'll give it to Ubisoft, like that game was beautiful. It was. Like, Far Cry 4 was so pretty. It, it was. was absolutely gorgeous. I, it was one of those games you just like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, where I find myself walking around. I know I'm supposed to be hunting something or shooting something. I'm just like, whoa, this is really cool. Yeah, getting distracted great. by the by the environment around mm -hmm. you. Well, I mean, now that we've kind of talked about what exactly we loved about Far Cry, do we have any idea of what we're anticipating for Far Cry Five? I've heard rednecks. <laughs> and I was like, I'm on board. Yeah. And then they're like, and then I saw people freaking out because it's like, what, genocide? And I'm like, more on board? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, men's rights activists are upset about this game? I'm on board. Let's do it. <laughs> 
Rednecks are mad. I'm going to be I'm going to be the person that just tacks myself on to exactly everything that you said Without because saying. that's oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, I mean that's it's I feel that especially right now with what's yeah. going on yeah, yeah. socially that it kind of hits hard and I like that. I like that they're approaching it this way. Yeah, that's that's why I was going to say that. I think that more than anything is what makes it cool is like I feel like any art, you know, rest in peace Ebert, but you were wrong about that. Video games are art. Uh, they are. But, but like with any art, it you, there comes a time where you want to tackle what's going on in time. Mm-hmm. And like I feel like at, art shows you what we're going through in certain times. Like there's a reason why Call of Duty made that shift to modern warfare. Like we just got, it was a post 9-11 America and we were, a lot of our, you know, uh, a lot of people were joining the military and a lot of our eyes were on the TV seeing that. So like Mm -hmm. making a story that takes place within that world with terrorism, Middle East, what what have you. Uh, So to see a game kind of go with like this nationalist thing well, and I haven't let's not get too deep I think we should just watch it at <laughs> yeah this I haven't point. watched okay. it yet okay. I've only seen the picture judgments. I'm gonna I know because we we could like watch it and it's totally different than everything it, I'm yeah just... it could it could literally be like yay white people <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know like, but the people like, are freaking like, out on Twitter yeah, yeah. made me think I, and you know and just for clarification for the people that might in the comments immediately be like oh, fuck you like I was born and raised in the Arkansas Missouri border, mm-hmm. uh, redneck, Missouri? Ar- redneck to the to the fucking core. <laughs> yeah. And although I was born in California, I grew up in Kansas, so mm. we we we've been exposed to uh, c- culture, I want, yeah. Uh, yeah. Midwestern culture. I, I'm not. I'm not. And I kind of am embarrassed saying this. I had never met someone who is a ethnicity other than white, Caucasian, until I was 17 years old. Oh, I, wow. I was a I was an Asian person at some of the schools I attended to. So eh. look, I, I I will say uh, you know I I grew up out here in Compton, <laughs> and it was like it was like the flip of that. I think the first time I saw a white woman was right after seeing There's Something About Mary, and the, and the <laughs> she was blonde, and I was like, oh man, which is funny because Cameron Diaz isn't white. Uh, she actually went to Long Beach Poly too. What's up uh i don't know why <laughs> we can way off track yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just watch this yeah let's hit, watch hit, it hit space bar on the thing let's do it Center. Ooh, free. oh what oh my gosh something is coming uh, you can feel it can't you I want to go to there. I want to. I don't want to go there. It feels like home. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that feels like home. Yeah, the mountains though. The cows. I know that you were out there. Wow, it's so. Oh, okay, ah. dude, this is getting way too real for me. <laughs> Already, this is just too real. My children, I'm here to tell you that suffering wow. is a choice, and you can choose a better path. We want you. We accept you. Uh huh. And we will take you, willingly or not. Oh. Oh. And some of you may fight, but hmm. in the end, you will thank us. Oh. I am your father, and you are my children. The religious undertones are heavy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I know whose side story I'm going fi- to finish first. <laughs> not the cows. Souls do not harvest themselves. I oh, shall God. lead you to the gate. Uh, <laughs> it's too real. My children and I am your father. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Whoa, place they went the there. Uh, place to play. You know, okay. Uh, they uh, went there. <laughs> oh, this is too real. Oh my <laughs> gosh, they went there. Um, it was the trucks. It was the trucks driving down the road no, with the flags. No, no, it goes even deeper for me, man. Uh, crazy story. I grew up next to a terrorist camp. <gasps> And I'm going to call it a terrorist camp because you're not allowed to call it anyone, anything else. If they, they killed black highway patrolmen, they blew up a church in, 
Uh, Kansas City, they blew up a gas line on the way to St. Louis. The covenant, the sword, and the arm of the Lord was in my backyard. <gasps> and this is too fucking real. Oh, my like, god! My dad was in law enforcement in 1984 and moved our family away while this was happening because he got put on a hit list uh, as, like, a target. Wow, you were uh, deep in we there. We were deep in this shit. And... I, I, oh man! Immediately, I'm just like, oh god, oh god, this is all too real. Are you gonna? Are you? Gonna, is it gonna give you PTSD it, to play? Oh, uh, I mean, I was like, luckily, I was just a, a baby at the time. But the remnants of what happened from all that, the, like the FBI, army, and uh, state patrol came in and shut them down in 1985. Mm -hmm. um, crazy shit went down. The remnants of it, though, lasted for 15 years at the least, mm -hmm. because there were some people that didn't get arrested. Uh, little little known fact that a lot of people don't know, Timothy McVeigh trained there uh, and had already tried blowing up the Oklahoma City building once before. And when he actually did blow it up in 96, it was the day uh, Snell, one of the people who was arrested during the raid in 1985, was executed. Yeah. So everyone where I'm from knew that's why it happened. And it was just like, there's this just like constant like fear. People would spray wow. paint on trees, CSA is coming back and stuff like that. And oh like, my there's this dude, Gordon Winrod. Who some of you guys might know who was the guy that would mail out anti-Semitic letters to everyone in the country. Uh, he was a part of that and he didn't get arrested during the raids and he was able to continue doing that right up through the 90s and in the early 2000s I think they finally were able to get him for kidnapping his grandchildren. Wow. And just like this shit is always on the surface down there where there was a time when they were going into people's uh, they, they used to go into the grocery store with Uzis on their back and they would like it was nuts it was oh nuts we were living gosh. in a war zone um when they got raided they had 30 gallons of cyanide air to ground missiles uh like automatic weapons they were training with al-qaeda for a little while before they were called al-qaeda so it was just like this shit happens <laughs> no, okay yeah. well now that it's we real. know the real side behind it what do you think was the idea behind them making this the premise for the game why do you think they chose this because it's fucking topical right yeah now. i you feel like it's topical it's it's all in the it's kind of in the zeitgeist uh to keep in my keep in turn there's a level like this on rainbow six siege called oregon that's based <clears throat> off of the uh what was that big compound that kind of had the big shootout? You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, but it kind of led into, yeah. I forget the name of it. Uh, it'll, we'll find some way to get that <laughs> info out. I, I forget it, but you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, like yeah, they, yeah. And the, they had a long shootout. So this, so Ubisoft has already kind of like, kind of touched in this there. time. They're like, we're going all in. We're yeah. going to, and I do think, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a great choice because I do think there's this idea that terrorism is only a Muslim thing. Like, yeah. and I think no, and, we we are one of the. Yeah. I think uh, we are the. I, gosh, I, I don't want to say anything officially because I know the stats change so frequently. Yeah, and I'm going to be misquoted, but we are one of the highest housers of terrorists in the world. Yeah, yeah. because the rest of the world, whether we do or not, considers um, Christian extremists who threaten people's lives terrorists. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's and it's it's so crazy. But like, if you, I think if you did a word association, which is crazy, is like, if you did a word association uh, and said the word terrorist, someone would think Middle Eastern and like just straight. And that's mm -hmm. just crazy because it well, not is, where I grew up, yeah, and yeah. that's weird. And that's what's weird is because I grew up in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. surrounded by nothing but white people. But because we faced this, yeah, and lived around it for a while, it was just in the freaking air, yeah. yeah. You know, and people were terrified of it. And it wasn't till 9-11 that things changed and people started yeah. speaking differently on it. But yeah. growing up, it was like, that's what you're scared of. You're oh, scared yeah. of the white extremists yeah. who come in and start threatening people and threatening the government and killing like police officers and things like that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's kind of made a resurgence now yeah, recently. Yeah. And that's that's what terrifies me. But also it brings me brings me back to Far Cry 5, the fact that they're they're. Everybody's so PC. Everybody's so afraid to to bridge that gap and to yeah. to go there. And you know, Ubisoft is is probably going against a lot of people being like, oh, no, don't yeah. do it, don't do it. So oh, I'm kind of yeah. like, I'm like, good for you, Ubisoft. Yeah, like, that's, good that's for a, you, move, man. It's I will, a ballsy move. I also want to point out that's the that's the first time I heard PC used that way. Usually, PC is like, you know, we're afraid to offend liberals. Oh, bullshit! But like, you, you like, show yeah, me, we're a, also show me a snowflake. Show me the ten people in these comments that are going to complain that I said men's, the words "men's rights" yeah. activists. Like. The, Please. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah, please. PC like, is a blanket term. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it is it is always assumed to be on the liberal side, but it is true like No, it's on both sides. I mean, look, 
You you you, you throw that uh, Gamergate hashtag up. You'll <laughs> trust We're me. We're pissing I, off everyone in this. Like, no. so, oh gosh. Oh man. Oh, Sometimes gosh. I don't if, do if, it. Like, if I'm real fighty, like if I'm like, ooh, I woke up with a thorn in my ass. Oh boy, I just dropped that hashtag for no reason. Uh, for no. Just go and go to blows. Oh, but gosh. Uh, regardless of the game, I'm. It is definitely taking a very bold direction and i did see a lot of the complaints before i saw the trailer and it does crack me up because one of my favorite threads on twitter that i saw was somebody said something about oh the the liberal media would be freaking out if they made this somebody going into the hood and shooting up black people and then someone responded with have you played any video game ever and he was like name one and then a whole bunch of people (laughs) came so many video games just like dude we've been shooting people in the hood in video games forever because yeah. you've criminalized them yeah. yeah but now whenever we're saying here's actual like here's someone who's we're cr- these are criminals yeah. like the thing that i think was important that they also showed in the trailer the other people in the town that's being held captive aren't just black people they're white yeah. people too yeah. yeah they're all a victim of this extremism so the extremists are the villains yeah not white people <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's the extremists who are going out and doing these crazy things but also one thing i will know note that i saw just i think thematically that i thought was very interesting is that all these places uh had american flags and i'd probably need to like watch it one more time to get because i'm on two sides of it Mm -hmm. where it's either like showing because it is all the places that they went to Mm -hmm. everyone had american flags so kind of showing that it affects all americans or i i wasn't sure if all the places that they had had american flags which is because i feel like a lot of times we attribute it to confederate flags and it's it's that makes it an other like it makes it seem like you know actually i from my experience that's not what i have seen growing up in the south and the midwest uh South South as Confederate yeah. flag all over the place. Mm-hmm. Like this is supposed to take place, I believe, in Montana, yeah. Yeah. which is where there are a lot of extremist groups and stuff oh, like that. Montana. That's not necessarily a state you're going to see the Confederate flag yeah. flown around yeah. a lot in, but you will see extremism, extremism yeah. and the yeah. American flag. It, yeah. But I, it is an interesting spot to put it in because that's like an underlying tone throughout the whole trailer. Like, what are they trying to say by say, putting that in there on yeah. almost every angle? Like, it, yeah, it's, it's, it, I know it's kind of great. And also it just shows, cause I do feel like the South does get a lot of flack in that. Yep. There's a whole other upper part of that area oh, yeah. that, uh, really, uh, is doing the same shit. They're just not as, uh, popular. Everybody's, everybody's got their demons. Everybody's got their shadows. No one in, in, you know, any part of the country, any part of the world is like, pure you know yeah, like there's definitely. there's evil and extremism in all parts of the world the united states is not some sacred holy place no. that doesn't yeah. have any bad people i mean but we, this is still a video game yes but it's getting to an interesting place now the more real these things look the more real the settings are mm-hmm. like you start crossing that line of where people say like it looks like home to me it makes me feel like it's like a little too close to home yeah the people who aren't able to step outside of that and realize that this is a statement mm-hmm. are going to be just like, why are people coming to my house and sh-? you know, like yeah. things that yeah. people, um, welcome to my world. Exactly. Things that people have been experiencing, uh, in lower class, uh, urban areas for years in the video game market. It's like, well now welcome to what they've been going through. Like any grand theft auto game. Yeah. Well, and I'm I also, know. I will say I really like that, uh, you know, San Andreas and five kind of took it around where I love that San Andreas kind of had the story of CJ and really did a good job of capturing kind of the gang life of how it, it's very similar to mob life where it's more of a family and it's not just guys who just are teaming up to shoot people. Like there's turf wars, yeah. there's drugs, there's bad people in it, but it comes from the general sense of wanting to belong. And, uh, you know, when you grow up in the hood and you don't have, places to go this is why we don't want to cut funding to you know uh after school programs and music because when you don't have that then you have to rely on the streets yeah Um, well and i also i'm a firm believer in you know in order for you to truly understand the person that you're talking to or even the opposition of whatever scenario you're currently in you really need to have a true empathy of what they're going through. So like I personally, although I I grew up in the Midwest, I don't have any relation to that situation. Mm -hmm. And Far Cry 5 is going to open a lot of eyes to make them realize like this is real. This comes, there's, there's, this isn't just made up. There's places in our country that this shit's happening in. Yeah. Uh, It looks extremist 
but, but it exists. It exists. And that, that will create in them an understanding and therefore create them uh, or make an environment where they're easier to talk to. And like, I you know, like, so. okay, I get that. Oh, I, I had no idea. I think you what's know? interesting is we just watched a trailer for a major publisher's upcoming video game. And now we've talked for 10 minutes about social issues rather yeah. than, yo, this yeah. game is dope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look fun. I know. But Uvi's fooled me before. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, you know, fooled could, you before with like social issues? No, fooled me before with, with making m making Rainbow Six look great and then you play it or... Uh, but you're still playing got, it though. Yeah, but that's because they're working <laughs> on it. That's the one game they're working on. You know, I feel sorry I learned for my lesson. I'm still honor. playing, but oh, I, yeah. I, I mean, got it. That's, uh, look, how many times <laughs> you're going to go in the PC Master Race subreddit and it's like, remember, we won't pre-order and pre-order sales are off the charts. We love... we we're The opposite we're, happens. Like masochistic piece. So also, we just <laughs> buy the hype. Like we we love hype games, so we're gonna try it, and we want that extra skin. Yeah. I, but I think what it comes down to is like I was I got lucky with Rainbow Six that they like kind of have a real good community manager. What's up, Ubi? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean Epi. Uh, and, um, so good. I forgot your name. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. But but like that, you know, they're working on it. But then you have games like. Uh, I keep trying to remember it, but Watch Dogs, you know, people oh, were real mad yeah. at like, how it looked at E3 versus now. Speaking of E3, we're both going to be there. What about Watch Dogs 2, um, though? Watch Dogs 2, I actually enjoyed, but I only played it when I played it for a brief moment on, uh, on, on stream. Yeah, on stream, but I didn't go into it more. So I, I don't know how the full game is. And see, and, and speaking back to like, is it going to make people uncomfortable? being in this setting and it being like so close to home because for a large portion of the country that's their backyard yeah. yeah and you know i think for some people when you're playing you know the inner city kind of stuff that's usually like post-apocalyptic it's set mm -hmm. in the future you know the division made me uncomfortable i thought the division was in an interesting place because and i don't know if it was a bug in my game but when we were playing it on stream we even commented on it like the first two and a half hours of us playing it we never ever came across a villain that wasn't a black kid in a hoodie yeah and it made us really uncomfortable about two and a half hours in we're like man this is starting to feel real yeah. like yeah. unaware and i don't know if it's a bug in our game or something but these are the only enemies that have spawned for us and it's really starting to yeah. make me really uncomfortable comfortable uh and i and i wonder too like is that feeling of uncomfortability going to hit for some people when it's just like here's americana here's your backyard and it gets really real and it's modern and it's now and it's not some alternate take on reality it's like yeah. it's, nope this is right now yeah when does that get super uncomfortable i mean it all depends on how people approach it because some people you know just say it's just a game fantasy and you know check it away yeah. like that's the thing is like you 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 can only put your art out there, but you can never control what people choose to take from your yeah. art. So some people are going to take this as like a real introspective look and like really like change like, their lives, yeah, enjoy it and, and take stuff from it. And some people are just going to be like, oh, that was just a game. Uh, oh, know. yeah. I'm going to be trying to get those headshots. Extra bonus, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, going to get the bow and arrow. There better be a fucking bow yeah. and arrow in there. Oh, there I'm going to be uh, going for super long distance bow and arrow headshots. Yeah. Let's, let's get that extra yeah. XP. That's so, yeah, some people are like, this is just a game. And, you know, my my uncle pretends to be a ghost on at night, uh, you know, with a, his pointy white hood, you know, he's just a ghost, y'all. Oh. He's just a ghost. He's just <laughs> cosplaying as a ghost, y'all. Uh, so, uh, otherwise, I, I think the game looks good. I, I'm excited yeah. for it. I'm anxious to see some more trailers and see yeah. what, uh, what else is hiding inside that story. I think we saw a lot of images of people. It looked to me like it all takes place in one town or region. Yeah. And you're seeing a lot of the shop owners and the people in that town. So, it'll be interesting to see the dynamic. Mm -hmm. Um especially as a person who grew up in this like watching that dynamic of like who supports it who supports it secretly who's absolutely terrified and is secretly rebelling against it yeah you know and how does local law enforcement deal with yeah. it and all those kinds of things uh well, I mean, you I'm guys have you guys have spent a considerable amount of time listening to us talk about it. Let us know in the comments down yeah. below what you think of Far Cry 5. Yeah. Social issues, the game itself, just Hit up the comments. Let can't us know. Can't wait for you to tell us how little we know what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, can't wait. So thank you guys so much. Oh, I believe in you guys. You guys are going to be you dope. Got this. Right? 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 All right. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye. Bye.